The sell phase is really, for small businesses, is super important. It's a strategy that, as small businesses, we have to be super savvy. Why? Is because, as small businesses, we can't compete on price with the bigger dogs in our industry. So we really have to sell value. We have to really promote value. And where you do that is in the sell phase. The sell phase has three stages. The first one is educate. We start telling them, you know, we're not pitching, we're educating. We're telling them about the, the value, um, we're, you know, tips about um, why, you know, about your brand and your experience. So you're educating them along the way. Um, an example would be, um, I have a client uh, in, in Texas, and he does SEO for martial arts studios in Texas. And so he has a, a drip campaign, or it's not really a drip campaign, it's, a, it's an automation plan that educates people along the way, you know, of little tips that they can do with WordPress to optimize for a local search. But all in those emails, it has the offer in the emails, or it has an offer later on in the sequence for them to pop out for our consult. So once we educate them, we have to include it with an offer, and then we have the close. And I'll be talking about each one um, in a second. So the educate is, like I said, we're not educating, we're, we're educating, we're not pitching. So you don't want to be like, hey, my name's Kyle from XYZ Company, and you should buy this. And then three days later, oh, you should buy this again. So it's all about finding out what their concerns are, and that's what it gets back from the very beginning of, of targeting that um, customer that we wanted to target because we knew what their issues were, we knew what their problems were. This is where we can start talking about kind of the solutions and some of the um, towards and away statements of, of what, what you provide. So, like I said, what do they care about? You, this is like a, you know how you do a content strategy for your website or you do a content strategy for SEO for people to come to your website? if you do third party blogging and you create a content strategy for people pointed to your homepage. This is more or less the same idea, having a content strategy that will you know, entice people to purchase. What Nadine does at Printerbees is that she does um, office supplies. So people come on to her website, they're interested in business cards, for example. She does you know, stationary supplies for lots of different uh, verticals in her business, but one of them is business cards. And for those business cards, the, the prospects, she has them on different verticals with different campaigns, making sure that all the emails look very, um, they don't look list, like, like a generic, like one list. They all look tailored. So um, she makes it look like the campaigns that she's sending out is that she's taken the time to sit down and, and e email the individual. She then has a little bit of an offer like, hey, you know what, you're kind of missing out on that coupon I sent you earlier in the month. It's ending in two days. Here's the coupon code. And then there's a link to either a page to make that purchase and put in that promo code, or there is a, you know, a phone number that you can call and use the promo code to you know, take them up on that offer. The, you know, one side of the things is that what I've seen is that, from my experience, is that um, every business is different and every business has touch points that they need to have with their customers. And the question is, how many touch points does your customers need to be, or how many, lead, how many touches does your leads need for them to become customers? Sorry. So um, what I find is that, is that within the 12 months, they're going to make a purchase at some point. The problem is, and I know before, previously before I you know, got into drinking the Infusionsoft Kool-Aid, was that People are going to buy later on. If I'm not still staying in touch with them, they're going to buy from somebody else. So you have to keep staying in touch with them. People are so busy these days, and they don't mind the follow-ups if it's something that is interesting and it's going to be something that's insightful that they'll be able to use some point later. So um, that's what Nadine did. And, that's, um, and, and the, offer, the offer is really designed like this. So over time, Dr. Berlinson, in, in his case, his was six months long. So he had to have a content strategy that was, you know, I'm going to send an email in the first month, maybe in the second month uh, or, or two weeks later. It really depend on, on his business. Every business is different. So a way in how you do this is if you look at your previous customers, what made them customers? What, what was the decisions they made on their side that made them want to purchase? Once you can start thinking about, you know, what was it? 
you can then start putting that in your strategy. In this template here, I have at the beginning awareness, making them aware of what you guys do, you know, why you're good at it, then slip in the offer. After we put in the offer, we then have consideration. Why would they consider you, for example? You gotta provide them some, some tips. And then, then slip in an offer. Sometimes you could, I've seen um, people do offers at the bottom of an email, or maybe they, have, maybe they have the offer at the below, and then two days later it's like, hey, you're missing out on this offer and then maybe have a gap of time and then send another email. Um, and then an offer at the end. So this is, this, is kind of a, this is kind of not the blueprint, but this is a starting point to how to think about your strategy. So yeah, definitely recommend to just think about how are my customers, what are they needing from me in that, in that justification, or the, what do they need to help push them along, um, not pull, but push them to you know, make that decision. So this is a, you know, inside of Infusionsoft, um, and, and a lot of other marketing automation tools do this, but let's just say in theory we had a funnel that was three months long, and they went through the funnel, but they didn't do anything. So what this does is, with all those links that we had, now all those links, when they clicked on those, we could put points on those links. And once the fi funnel expired, you could have uh, the system say, hey, uh, peppery, peppy pizza delivery clicked on all these links, but they didn't make a purchase. So what can we do with this information? We can actually figure out, well, we have to figure out, well, they, they clicked on all the links and most of the emails that we sent them, but they didn't make a purchase. So we can do two things here. We can do, we, one, let's give them a call. Let's say, hey, what, what's going on? You, you got the emails and you clicked on them, you're interested, but what's, what's something that we didn't tell you about? And they're like, oh, you didn't, you didn't tell me, um, you know, what's your guarantee? Oh, well, our guarantee is this. And then it's like, oh, you have a light bulb, right? We have to tell them in our sequence about our guarantee. So you get to keep optimizing that funnel. This, the, the second thing is, oh, well, my credit card. I, you know, I kept on trying to find my credit card when I wanted to make that purchase, but I couldn't find it. I got it now. Can I make the purchase with you over the phone? So this is kind of making sure that leads don't fall out of the pipe when they have expired. You don't want to have a, a funnel too, too long that you keep emailing them because they, they will hit the spam button. Um, and with all these marketing automation software, they, they, they strive to have a 100% deliverability rate to go to your inbox and not go to your spam box. So um, a lot of these email automation providers, um, Infusionsoft 1 and, and um, Market 2 is another, is that if you spam them way too long or spam them within a frequency way too much and they hit the spam button, you're going to guarantee you you're going to be getting a phone call from either Infusionsoft or from these other automation providers because you're, that subdomain that you're sending the, the email from their server to just say Gmail server, um, it ruins the reputation on their end. And so what's gonna happen later on is that for, it's gonna ruin it for other apps when they send out emails, it might go to the spam box. So it's like a three strike rule at Infusionsoft. I don't know what it is um, at other companies.